So in the morning, when the people of the town got up, where Baal's altar, where there was Baal's altar demolished, with the Asherah pole beside it cut down, and the second bull sacrificed on a newly built altar, they asked each other, "Who did this?" And then they carefully investigated. Lo and behold, it was Gideon. So in verse 30, the people of the town demanded Joash, bring out your son. He must die because he has broken down Baal's altar and cut down the Asherah pole beside it. Here we are, a bunch of Israelites in the town coming together and so upset, so angry and full of what they think is righteous anger. How dare he tear down this altar to the fake God who we're supposed to be worshiping in the first place? Are you serious? How dare he do this? He's got to die for what he's done. And I feel like the church gets mad at a lot of the same things. We have no problem. We can be silent. We can be real silent about the gospel. We can be real silent about speaking up about what to our co-workers or to our family members, our extended family, about our Christian walk and our Christian life. But we have no problem telling somebody on Facebook about our political views. My goodness, why are we getting mad about the wrong things? And then a lot of times, Christians are getting marked with a label now called narrow-minded, judgmental, all this, that, and the other. They're branding, they're trying to brand Christians with a kind of a hate narrative. They're speaking out against this, so they must be this. And meanwhile, we're trying to back up, say, no, 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 that's not me. No, no, come on. I'm not, I'm not like that. Looking at things that displease God right in the face and ready to defend it for the sake of not being offensive. Israel staring at this fake God in the face, knowing that God has abandoned them mm. about it, and getting upset, wanting to kill Gideon. Why in the world are we getting mad about the wrong things? Can we get as opinionated about the cause of Christ as we do everything else? Amen. 